can see many science videos on our website, www.makemegenius.com. It looks like it's going to rain today. Let me check the weather from the app on my dad's mobile. Yeah, you can check from the weather app, but I can tell you just by looking at the clouds. Wow! The weather app is predicting that there will be rains too. But how did you know without the weather app? <laughs> I knew because I have studied about the clouds. Wow, that's so interesting. Can you teach me something? Let's first ask our friends. Do you want to learn about clouds? <coughs> okay, okay. Do you know that there are many different types of clouds and all of them have names? Oh, I did not know that. Hmm, to remember all the names of the clouds, you just need to remember six keywords. Only six keywords? Yes. If you remember these six words, you can easily understand all about the clouds. Hmm. Okay, you all have to speak with me. Let's learn the first three keywords. Okay. Say cirrus, stratus, cumulus. Cirrus, stratus, cumulus. Say it again. Cirrus, stratus, cumulus. All three are very strange words. What is the meaning of them? Yes, these are the three main types of clouds. These words are from the Latin language. They tell us about shapes of the clouds. Wow, names of the clouds can tell their shapes. Yes. Let's learn one by one. Cirrus means hair-like. So the clouds that are in the shape of hair are called cirrus clouds? You're right. Cirrus clouds look like horse hair. And cumulus? Cumulus means heap or pile. So cumulus clouds are like a heap of cotton. What about stratus? Stratus means layer. It's like a big blanket across the sky. Oh, they are those clouds that cover the whole sky. Now we know about three main types of clouds. But if you look at the sky for some time, you would find that clouds keep changing shapes. Do they mix with each other? Yes, if they mix and their shapes change, do they get new names? Well, it is somewhat like that, but the new names are mixtures of the old names only. I am confused. Okay, let's see how name change happens when different types of clouds mix with each other. Now, if cirrus and cumulus merge in each other, their names also merge. They become cirrocumulus. Wow! And if I combine cirrus with cumulus, they become cirrocumulus. Similarly, if a cirrus shake hands with stratus, they become cirrostratus. Wow! It is easy. Cirrus and stratus become cirrostratus. Let me guess about when stratus clouds combine with cumulus clouds. Well, they become stratocumulus. Well, you understood it well. So, by remembering only three words, I now know six types of clouds. Yeah, let's revise again. Let me do it. Cirrus, cumulus, stratus, cirrocumulus, cirrostratus, and stratocumulus. Good. 
Now is the time to learn about two more keywords. I'm ready. Say alto, zero, alto, zero. Alto and zero are also Latin words. They tell us about the height of the clouds. Hmm. Alto is used for middle level clouds. That is for the clouds, those are between 6,500 feet to 20,000 feet height. And zero clouds are higher than alto clouds? Yes. Let's now take three main types of clouds and put them at different heights. So the names of the clouds will change at different heights. Yes, when stratus clouds are at middle level, they are called alto stratus. So we just put alto in front of the name of the cloud? Yes, we just put alto or zero in front of the name of the main clouds. It depends whether they are at mid-level or high-level. So if stratus clouds are at higher level, they would be called zero stratus. Yes. Okay, tell me cumulus clouds are at middle level. What would be added to their name? Oh, they would be called alto cumulus. And if they are at high level, they would be called zero cumulus. See, it is so easy. But remember one thing, it does not apply to cirrus clouds. Why is that? Because cirrus clouds are always found at a higher level only. That's why they have these three letters at the start of their name. C-I-R as in zero. You're smart. So we have learned five key words till now. Tell me the sixth. The sixth keyword is nimbus or nimbo. Nimbus or nimbo. Nimbus means rain bearing clouds. The ones that bring rain? They are the same as cumulus and stratus clouds, but when they have a lot of rain inside them and their color becomes gray or dark gray, and their names? When stratus clouds have precipitation in them, they are called nimbostratus. And when cumulus clouds are full of rain, they are called cumulonimbus. So you just add nimbo to the words stratus and cumulus. Keep in mind, nimbostratus clouds cause lightning but steady rain. But cumulonimbus clouds cause both thunder shower and lightning. Let's revise everything. Let's go in the sky in this magic pod. Wow! Stratus, cumulus are low level clouds. And alto stratus and alto cumulus are middle level clouds. And look here! These are high-level clouds, cirrus, cirrocumulus, and cirrostratus. And look here, these are rain clouds, nimbostratus and cumulonimbus. And see, the cumulonimbus is causing thunder shower and lightning. Let's go back now. I have a quiz for all of you. What clouds are these? Wow, these are like a heap of cotton. These must be cumulus. Correct, and these? These look like a sheet. These are stratus. And these? These seem to be stratus clouds with rain in them. These are nimbostratus clouds. Very good. Guys, this is all about clouds. Remember the six keywords. Cirrus, stratus, cumulus for shape of clouds. And alto and cirro for the height of clouds. And nimbo is added to the name of clouds of those clouds that have precipitation in them.